Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Uh, today I'm sharing some mail, Happy Mail, and also a haul from Hobby Lobby that I got myself yesterday. <laughs> today is Saturday, March, I think the 6th, and I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday to get some handles to, for bags that I'm making next week. I'm waiting for my um, No Catchy Name labels to come in the mail. I ordered a whole bunch of new ones, but uh, then I'm going to be making some new bags soon. Anyways, while I was there, I noticed a bunch of orange stickers floating around. So I immediately went to the yarn. No yarn is marked down yet. But um, I noticed sewing notions, ribbons, uh, Cricut supplies, and die cuts, beads and jewelry making, planners, planner accessories were all clearancing out the uh, like the seasonal and older mm -hmm. things, making room for new stuff. So the yarn clearance should be coming up pretty soon. <laughs> Anyways. Ignore this mess up here. I've been doing some cleaning and organizing, so everything kind of got jumbled up, and I've got to clean it, but that's okay. I want to go ahead and get into the Happy Mail, and uh, yeah. So first, I got from Olive. She sent me a card, and I want to make sure, I want her to know that I got it. I'm going to get it out of here. So, there it is. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it says, just curious, and the actual, the words, you know, the printed words. Uh, just says, what have you been up to lately? But it's got a cute little kitty cat with a yarn ball. So cute. It's so cute. I love it. And it's purple. I know it's purple. But I wanted to let her know for sure that I got that. I'll probably message her too. I just got that today. Um, tell her that I got it and all that stuff. This is just an Indian box. I'm uh, saving that for an uh, address that's on it. <laughs> Alright. There's a lot of it. I got a clothes basket over here. Let me show you real quick. Ignore the mess. Full of some Happy Mail and uh, the stuff I got at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> So this one I got, I think yesterday. Did I get this one? No, I got this one today. This is from Dawn. I'm not prepared. Devin just left to go play music. And I, I didn't prepare. <laughs> I just came in here. Put everything. Put that over there. All right, so first there's a card. This is such a cute card. <laughs> it's an Easter card. Look at it. It says, we hope you have a very happy Easter. It's got little lambs. And on the inside it says, we wooly wooly do. <laughs> so, thank you so much, John, for that. And she sent some uh, gifts also. Alright. First she sent these two keychains. <laughs> these are so funny looking. I don't even know where she got these. Let's see the thing says it. It doesn't. But they're, they're, are they llamas or alpacas? I don't know the difference. But they're... <laughs> They're llamas or apacas or whatever. They got legs. That is so cute. I'll probably keep this one and I'll see if Jesse wants this one. Because he likes uh, stuff like this too. But pink is my favorite color so I get the pink one. Ah, it's stuck on my finger. They are so cute. <laughs> and then there's this little pair of, uh, they're called detailing scissors. They're little pointy snips. So those are nice. Those are good. That'd be good for cutting threads when I sew. And then she also sent me in a bag. This really beautiful ornament. I don't know if you could tell, but it's really glittery. Can you see that? <laughs> but it's angel wings. Very beautiful. It's kind of a heart shape. Ooh, almost dropped it. Let's not do that. Okay, I'm going to put that up. I, I don't know if this is meant to be a Christmas ornament. Like, when the people made it, whoever made it. <laughs> but I'll probably hang it up somewhere else and just keep it up all the time. And then also, she sent this calendar. It's from Simply Crochet, and it's called Moomin 2021 Calendar. Created by Vanessa Munis. Munis? There's the cover of it. And then the back of it. That's all the months. I don't know if there's... Oh, yeah, there's patterns in here. I guess it's for the characters. But it's an actual calendar, you know. It's got actual calendars. <laughs> and it's got those hippos. Are those hippos? <laughs> I don't know if those are hippos. And, uh, little people. It's got the little, um, patterns of all those. I didn't even really look at this. I don't know if this is off of a show or what, but yeah, there's that. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Uh, all of that. Let me move it out of the way so I don't uh, break anything or anything like that. Alright. 
next. Ooh. All right, this is some fabric that I got sent to me. Oops, that came out of there. And it's also got a Christmas card in it that was late. Uh, you know, it's kind of late because, you know, laugh. But anyway, so this is the Christmas card. And it's not a Christmas card. This is from Angela, by the way. This ornament, which I will put in my tote because I actually had to get my Christmas stuff out earlier to get things out of it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so there's that. And she sent a bunch of fabric. Uh, so I'll just kind of go through it real quick. So there's some brown fat quarters. With shells. And she said that she hoped I could use this for bags. This is a really cool Christmas print. It's like a, a vintage looking print. It's really cool looking. This really cute like seed packets. I love this one too. Look at this. Oops, it's upside down. Just, okay, let's do it the right way. It's like little bunnies in a garden. That's so cute. It reminds me of like uh, Peter Rabbit. And then there's this one with like these women. <laughs> what are they called? Like hip chicks, I guess. And then there's this really cool um, piece that is like, uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's got like, um, I guess it's, it, might, it might actually be prejudiced. <laughs> but it's got, um, it's like a Thanksgiving day. And it's, it's got George Washington and his wife on it. It's got uh, some Native Americans sitting on tea boxes. <laughs> it and it says Plymouth Rock. It reminds me of the cartoon style Schoolhouse Rock is what it reminds me of. All right, sorry, Jesse needed me. <laughs> There's this pretty floral, paisley. This is like the kind of material you would make a tablecloth out of. It's huge. <laughs> so it's got like a banana top scene on it. <laughs> I don't know what I'll be able to do with that because the print's too big to make bags. I'll have to figure out something for it. And there's this really cute Christmassy print. And there's some with candy canes on it back there. My ears edgy. There's super cute country church um, print. <laughs> some of these prints are larger than the other ones or pieces of fabric so I'll just have to figure out about bags later. This is a really cute 4th of July print. I like that a lot. And then there's these little pieces of like coral. These are little squares, but I could probably make little tiny project bags out of that. This is really pretty. This would be good for like a liner for Christmas bags. And then this little one. These kind are good for liners. And this is another piece that's kind of like a uh, tablecloth material because it's got a big hunk. It's really like <laughs> and it's got that at the bottom and she also sent a bunch of spools of threads <laughs> they're just down in here in this bag because they're they're kind of open you know I have to organize them <laughs> but thank you so much for that I appreciate it Angela I'll put that there I gotta organize all the stuff <laughs> it's been just kind of piling up but uh yeah so that was from Angela all right we're almost done with the happy meal I got two more things of happy meal <laughs> uh, no, one more thing I have you I did want uh, Michelle to know that I got your package. Uh, and, uh, you know, I got your package. I just want you to know I got it. So, uh, you know that I will be doing that soon. All right. The last pattern that I got is some more fabric. <laughs> and it's from Linnell. Look at that. Ain't that fancy? It's got a little, uh, you know, it's like a stationary card with her na name on it. That's so fancy. That's so cool. I want some of those. Where can I put this? Okay. So she sent some fabric also. And she said that she hopes that I could use it to make bags. So it's just some random fabric. So here's a pretty floral print. And this this one will be good for uh, liners. Because a nice It's like a burgundy color. Really pretty. It's brighter on the camera than it is in real life. This is a really cute one. It's got little uh, hearts. And it says love. And then this one with... Um, they're not lighthouses. What are those things called? I float out in water. Dinghies or whatever. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> the little things. This print. Jesse's doing something in there. This blue floral print. That's real pretty. This little print. This one's like, woo! Oh, like country hearts and plaid. And there's this pretty pink floral. 
and then this green. This green you'll see sooner than these other ones because I got bags that I'm going to be making and I needed a liner for it and then this came and this is go good with it. <laughs> it's hard to show it. It's like a light green and it's got different color green dots on it. It's really pretty. So that's from Linnell. Thank you so much Linnell. Uh, that's all I have in my that I got. I'm pretty sure. That's over the last week and a half. I just haven't been able to record. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, now this next stuff I got from Hobby Lobby. So I went there to get this, which is the material that I use to make the handles for the tote bags and all that jazz. So I got that. <laughs> and um, that's when I noticed the orange stickers everywhere. So I started grabbing stuff with orange stickers on it. Oh, the buttons also had some. So in the planner section, I grabbed some stickers because I always need stickers. So they had a bunch of them marked down. These are normally, um, I think these are the ones that are $20. Let's pull a sticker off. On there. Yeah, these are normally $19.99 and they were all marked down to $4.99. So I got the Rainbow Dreams. So it's just rainbow planner stickers. And I got the Stronger Together. And it's like a uh, woman, um, like powerful woman, uh, squad goals top, you know, girl power <laughs> top one. It's really cute. And this one's Color Me Happy, which is another rainbow one. I love stickers. Ugh. And this one is called Life's a Party. Oh, this is real cute. And this has the cutest letter stickers in it. It has them in purple, pink, blue, and gold. And they look like balloons. Like the letter balloons. That is so cool. That's a party. So that's all the stickers I grabbed. There were more on sale, but uh, some I either already have or I just didn't want them. And then in the button section, uh, I only grabbed these buttons because they were super cute. <laughs> I don't really need buttons, but these ones were really cute. They were originally $4 each, and they're marked down the 99 cents each. And it's two uh, heart glittery, like really pretty button sets. <laughs> so I grabbed both of those. And then I made my way over to the beads section. I've been wanting to get some glass beads because there's projects that I want to make here that aren't stitch markers. Uh, it's decorations for the house. And I was talking to Amber recently about that, like the day before I went to Hobby Lobby, because <laughs> I know she has a lot of stuff like that. But uh, and then when I went to Hobby Lobby, they just happened to have some, so I bought a bunch. These ones aren't glass; these are just acrylic beads. But they're originally nine dollars each, and I got them for two twenty-four each. So they're just really pretty. Um, it just says acrylic bead mix, and they're like pastel colors. Oh, so I got my phone's done. <laughs> I got two of those. And then I got some of these. These are, what are these? It's covered up, but they're glass. It says they're glass. They're like seed beads. I don't know what the actual name is because the sticker's on there. But they were $5 each, and they were marked down to $1.24. So I got three of these. They're blues and greens. This is really pretty. I love those blue and green together. So pretty because it reminds me of water. And then I got, this was $10 originally. And it was marked down to $2.49. These are glass beads. And these are like uh, brown colors. Brownie black colors. Got a ba bag of those. <laughs> a bag of red ones. A bag of blue ones. And two bags of white. And I'm not going to lie, I got all that they had. Because I wanted these for a project that I'm working on. Or will be working on. And I'm so excited. <laughs> and then... In the beaded section, they had some jewelry that's like already made. So I grabbed some of them too. <laughs> so they had these, these are cultured, cur, uh, cultured pearls, which are river pearls that they can stimulate to be grown. They're not like ocean pearls that are rare to find and valuable. These are the ones that they grow in in oysters or whatever, but they're, they're put there essentially. They put stuff there to make them grow. Anyways, so they're not rare, but this one, was twenty dollars and it was marked down to five dollars and it's two bracelets with the dark color. I don't know if it says the color, but it's like a dark color. And this one was eighteen dollars, but it's marked down to five, uh, four fifty and it's the white. Now these are already bracelets and I'm gonna keep them as bracelets because I really like natural things, wood and rocks and stones and stuff. And these are kind of natural. I mean, they're stimulated to grow, but they are grown from natural sources. So um, I just like earthy things. Keeps me grounded. <laughs> And then they had some necklaces that were uh, on clearance too. This was originally eight dollars, and it was marked down to three nineteen. But it's just this really pretty, like braided necklace with some beads on it, right up my alley. I kind of have a hippie 
like anesthetic or however you say that. <laughs> and then this one was $9 and it's marked down to $3.59. And it's, uh, I don't know if these are glass or stone. They feel like stone, but I don't know if they're actually stone. They're pretty brown. And then there were three of these. These aren't necklaces. I guess they're necklaces. I don't know. But uh, how much were they? It's covered up. They were $6 and they were marked down to $1.74. And they're 30 inches each. They're just wrapped around. So I got three of those. I thought they'd be cute. Layered as a necklace. I'm going to open one of these. How long is this video? Okay, it's not that long. Oh yeah, see that's not bad. That would be a nice necklace. And then you could layer it. That was my plans. <laughs> I really like um, natural looking things. Natural colors. I like bright colors too, don't get me wrong. But um, I'm really into, like I said, the hippie lifestyle. Yeah, see, I can wear that as a necklace. Or I also thought about taking them apart to make them long, like 30 inches long this way instead of a circle and using them as like a pot decoration because <laughs> I have a lot of plants and uh, I don't know. But yeah, so I will be making some crafts with all these beads soon and I'm going to share them with you guys, of course, uh, as I get, it's going to take me a while to figure out how I want to do it because um, I have different size beads, so I have to go from that, <laughs> but I'm just going to keep buying beads as I come across them because I need them. I need a lot of them <laughs> because I'm wanting to make some beaded curtains and some things to hang around my there's my bracelets <laughs> my uh pots my planners i guess i should say my planners i like the noise that makes anyways yeah so that's my haul these are all different colors so i don't know if you can see that good that's my haul from hobby lobby and mail <laughs> i think i got a couple more packages i got a knit crate that's coming yeah that's my two packages i'm expecting two more it's knit crate on monday and tuesday is when i'm supposed to get my no kitchen name labels for my bags and then uh let's see tomorrow's sunday sunday or monday i'll probably cut my fabric and uh batting and all that so that i'm ready to start sewing tuesday when devon goes back to work and then i'll make bags and put them out when they come out because <laughs> i'm not gonna be announcing bag updates anymore so it's a surprise to everybody including myself because i don't know but um yeah this next bag update i think it's gonna be tote bags but it's gonna be smaller tote bags like the ones i originally made they're i think they're like four what are they? Because the box bottom. It'd be about 12, 12 inches by like 16 inches wide. I can't remember. <laughs> the first bags I made, um, they're going to be smaller. And I don't think they'll have pockets in them. I thought about maybe putting just one, like a hook size pocket in it. I don't know. I'll just have to wait and see how I feel when I'm sewing. <laughs> but yeah, so that's everything. Thank you everybody for uh, sending me cards and gifts. And they're never necessary, but they're always appreciated. And, uh, yeah, now i got to figure out where to do all this stuff because it's just everywhere. But I will do that. And then i got to go edit this and i got to crochet because tomorrow I have a national holiday that I want to make an ambergris for. And it's halfway done, but I want to finish it and get it ready for tomorrow. But I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, in a video. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.